Hey, Davey, uh, does this mean Steven Strasburg is done for the season? Yeah, he's going to uh, – we put him on the, um, the uh, IL, the 60-day IL. Um, so he'll have surgery uh, next week, and then we'll go from there. Would you, would you expect that – I mean, we, we, we don't really have 60 days left. I think there's some weird rule that he could come back in 45, but with surgery, I mean, is that pretty much shut him down? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to – you know, you know, hopefully surgery goes well. You know, the, the biggest thing is, is to uh, – that the surgery relieves anything he has and that he's able to rehab and come back, you know, for me, come back strong uh, next spring training. I mean, that's, you know, long-term goal. That's what we're hoping for, you know. If, if a miracle happens and, you know, but he's still got to ramp up, and I don't, I don't see that the case. You know, I told you before that we want to make sure that he's 100% when he comes back. So, um, and we don't want nothing else to break down on him. So we're going we're gonna to take this very slowly and carefully. And what, what, sur- what kind of surgery is he having exactly? He's having a carpal t- tunnel surgery. Um, so, but that, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily sure. know what that is. Yeah, but, um, you know, hopefully, like, like I said, hopefully uh, everything goes well and um, we can get him back as soon as possible. Todd Davis, NBC Sports. Hey, David, you said yesterday that you wanted to chat with Steven before you guys kind of came to a conclusion. Um, as much as you can tell us, how did that conversation go? No, he's good. He's very receptive. Um, you know, he wants to. He wants to get this right. You know, uh, he's disappointed. You know that. You know he couldn't finish out this. You know the season. But I told him. I said, let's just. You know, let's just get this fixed. I mean, um, you know, it's, you know, he he was hoping. You know that maybe he could fight through this. Um, but it's no. You know, for me, it doesn't make any sense that he goes out there and um, try to do what he did his last outing. So let's just get it fixed, and uh, and hopefully, like I said, he comes back and. And he helps us win in the future. I mean, he's he's a huge part of his future, as you know. He's here for many, many years, so we want to get him healthy. And do you know? Do you have any sense of timeline of what he can and can't do after the surgery? Like he has the surgery next week, he has to wait a week to start throwing a ball, et cetera, et cetera. Or do you not know all that stuff yet? Yeah, we we don't know anything. Um, I talked to Paul earlier this morning about what happens next, and honestly, he's got, he said we got to wait to see how the surgery goes. And then uh, we'll yeah. go from there. Do you know precisely when and where for the surgery? Uh, no, I do or not. Um, I know it's, 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 uh, it's sometime next week. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to I wanna say it's the 26th, but uh, don't quote me on that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll, if I find out this, the date, I'll tell you. <laughs> Brittany Drolley, The Athletic. Hey, Davey. Was – rehab ever really an option with Strasburg given that he had the injection and kind of already rested previously and it didn't really seem to do much was it really like a viable option here at all or did you think that it's mostly going to be surgery yeah I think it, I think at this point honestly I mean you know he took the shot obviously it didn't work it came back um you know he could have probably taken another shot and see but you we just need to get it fixed. We we don't want the, we didn't want this to prolong anything, and we want to make sure that it's it's fixed. And like I said, he's ready to go. Uh, if it takes till spring training, he's ready to go spring training right from the get go. Um, so you know, hopefully, um, with this being fixed, the surgery will fix it. He's good. He's ready. He rehabs, and he comes back to spring training uh, ready to help us win. Will he still be around the team at all? Have you talked to him about that? Well, here, here's, here's the deal with this season. Because of protocol, anybody that goes on the IL um, needs, to, needs to go to Fredericksburg. So um, we'll have to see where he's at you know, when he comes back, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. But, you know, the protocol now is, you know, because of the limited space and how, how it's spread out, we've got to be in the clubhouse. Anybody that's on the IL needs to, needs to go uh, rehab in Fredericksburg. So we'll see what happens. And- one more um, with with Fetty and both. Have you spoke to them at all about kind of the opportunity here, um, given what's happened with Strasburg? Maybe not today, but at all in the last few days about how you know they're going to get this prolonged opportunity this season, pretty much no matter what. Yeah, I mean, I spoke to both of them before this even started, you know, and they they understand, um, especially a lot with uh, you know both knew right away he was going to be our fifth starter, and uh, he's going to get the opportunity to start every five days. With Fetty, it was a different situation. 
And uh, I constantly talk to Fetty and, and honestly let him know how good he's really doing and how I appreciate the fact that he accepted his role. Now he's going to have, now he's going to have a different role. You know, he's going to be in the rotation. Um, and, I, you know, I talked to him about that. And I said, nothing changes for you. You just go out there every five days, you know, stay on your routine and um, keep throwing the ball you where you're throwing, you know. Um, so he's, you know, he's, he's, you know, sad that Strasburg's hurt. But then he knows that he gets an opportunity to go in there and start. And hopefully he does well. Mark Zuckerman, MassInSports.com. David, this is not a common baseball injury. Uh, do you guys have any sense of, of how it happened to him? No, uh, none. Like I said, this is something that it was uh, very weird. You know, like he was complaining about his wrist. And then next thing you know, his thumb started going numb on him. Uh, he couldn't feel the baseball. I mean, that's how it all started. So, uh, yeah, we don't know. You, you, we, you know, I don't know for sure, but they don't know how this could have happened. And be, because maybe there isn't a really clear roadmap for you know, or a lot of examples of other guys who've gone through this, does that make you nervous at all long term? I mean, he just signed a, a very long deal to be with you guys. Um, how confident are you that once he recovers from the surgery that he's, you know, back to normal? Or is there any, any concern that there could be a lingering effect of this? But well, my only concern is that he d does anything to change his mechanics. That's why we want to make sure we take this very slow. We want, we want the wrist and the thumb to heal the nerve, you know, after the surgery. And then from there, slowly but surely bring him back so that nothing else goes wrong. Um, you know, we don't want, we don't want him to change the mechanics. Cause he was, he, as you all know, he was in a really good place with everything. Um, we want to get him back there before he really starts amping up and starts throwing again. So, um, with that being said, you know, with everything, you know, with the way the surgery goes these days, you know, the doctor uh, said that he should be totally 100% when this heals and uh, ready to pitch again. So we're very hopeful that that's the case. Jesse Dockerty, Washington Post. You guys um, have chosen to have Will Crow come up and start tonight, the second game of the doubleheader, it seems. So why, why Will Crow when you have other starters on the 40-man already? Yeah, no, um, we like, you know, Will Crow was throwing the ball really well in an uh, uh, alternative site. Um, we felt that, you know, he could get opportunity here. He becomes the 29th man for the second game. Um, we didn't have to make any roster, you know, roster moves. So that, that's kind of nice. But we, I actually, we like the way he's been throwing the ball. So he's going to get an opportunity to go and pitch the second game today. And, uh, I you know, I spoke to him this morning already and just told him, hey, just you be you and, you know, pound that strike zone. Um, and get as many outs as you can for us. So you guys, it's twice now where you had some guys on the 40-man already that could have worked. Uh, you added Dakota Backus, you added Luis Garcia, you added Will Crow um, off the 40-man. Do you feel like the alternate site this year is maybe giving you guys an even closer look than you might typically have at some of your prospects, um, where maybe in other years you would have just added some guy you maybe had closer by or already on the 40-man? I think, I, I think them, you know, them being the pool that we have of guys, them being there and working like they are. So what we, we try to do this year, so they're, on, they're actually on schedule for what, every day that we play, every day that we have off is the same schedule. You know, they work out the same times that, that we do um, as we have games. So, you know, we try to keep everything in language just in case some, you know, more because if anybody gets sick or somebody tests positive, that we could just pull them right then and there and bring him up as soon as we possibly can. Um, with Will, you know, he was just, like I said, he's been throwing the ball really well. You know, he, he, was, he was built up to about 85, 90 pitches. Um, and we liked the way he was throwing. So he gets an opportunity this time to come up here and, uh, and start the second game. Thank you. Alex Chappell, Madison TV. Hey, Davey, just in regards today, we've seen so many different rule changes and now seven inning double headers. Just what are your thoughts? And, um, you know, does it change anything for you guys today? Yeah, it's kind of, um, it's kind of weird, actually. Um, you know, but, you know, you got Max, you know, going the first game. Hopefully he goes deep in the game. You know, when you play these double headers, uh, it's all about, you know, ta you know, taxing your bullpen. So hopefully Max can give us, you know, as many innings as he can. Um, say about bullpen and, you know, they're all fresh for the second game. Um, but we'll see. I think that's the biggest thing is, is, and I think the reason, you know, biggest reason why we're doing is health issues, you know, for, for pitchers, um, those extra two innings in games in the doubleheader, uh, 
could be taxing on your bullpen. And plus, we got a day game tomorrow, too, at 1230. Mark Zuckerman, Last in Sports. Along those lines, with Max, you're very often in that position around the seventh inning or so where you're kind of deciding, do we push him, let him go over 100, try to get through that inning or not? When that's now the last inning of a game, how do you approach that any differently? Or do you say, hey, if he can give me 110 and that means seven innings, then it doesn't matter if that's the last inning or not. Uh, I want him out there if he, if he can still finish the game. It's kind, of, it's kind of different. You know, I'm looking at Max, you know, his last outing was 111. Um, so we got, we got to keep an eye on him, you know. So if he can give us, you know, five or six innings, strong innings, we got, we got a, you know, fresh bullpen. Huddy, you know, is good to go. Randy's good to go today. All those guys are good to go. So we can cover the last, you know, two innings. Um, so, you know, but we'll see where we're at. I mean, I, I like to, you know, I'm not going to put any, any limitations on, on Scherz because he's going to give you what he's got. You know, he probably, probably tell, come out today and he pitches seven innings. He'll probably tell me he can start the second game, uh, knowing him. Um, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Jessica Camarado, MLE.com. Hey, Davey. Are you in your car? Are you in your car? Are you in your I'm car driving. Driving. I'm not. No, I'm not driving. <laughs> I promise. That would be like in Europe if I was on this side of the road. Um, if when when you started this season, you actually had too many pitchers. It was like, like you had like 80 fifth starters to pick from, and now you're kind of pulling guys from all over the place. Just what has that been like for you? This journey that it's been on this season, trying to figure out the pitching rotation. No, you, you always, you know, you, you try not to prepare yourself for the worst, but you, you know, you always got to keep in mind that, you know, regardless of, of a season, you know, it's still a season. So guys are going to go down, you know, this is a, a good thing about, you know, Riz uh, and his, his core guys of keeping guys ready and having guys uh, accessible and guys that we feel like are, can help us, you know, along the way. Um, you don't ever want anybody to get hurt. Believe me, it's, it's not a good feeling. Um, I feel for these guys when, when they do go down, especially when they go down for a long period of time because it's, it's frustrating to a player. Uh, I've been there. I understand, um, you know, because they, you know, they prepare themselves to come back and, help, you know, help your team win, and then all of a sudden that's taken away from them for a while. So, you know, but with that being said, you know, having the pool of guys that we have, we feel confident that these guys can come up here and help us. You know, you're seeing a lot of different guys. You know, we talked about – Louis Garcia, you talk about Bacchus, um, you know, Finnegan, uh, you know, stepping in, you know, all these guys. And hopefully Will Crow will do the same thing today. But these guys have, have done well uh, for us, you know, in a, right now in this short short season. So I hope they continue to do, do well. I mean, I, I see some really good things out of all these guys. And I just hope that they continue to have success like they have been. Also, when you pull Fetty out of the bullpen, that takes away a lot of innings that you would have accounted for. And I know, like, you have Volcro now and other guys, but how do you account for all those innings that Fetty would have been throwing just being able to be, like, a long man? Yeah, you got, now you got to look at guys like, um, like Harper and, uh, and uh, Angera, um, you know, maybe Swero again. You start looking at the, the guys that can get four outs for you or five outs for you um, and trying to piece it all together. Um, you know who knows? You know maybe you know maybe we'll have another guy, another starter in that bullpen that could help us out. But for right now, I feel confident in the guys that we got in that bullpen. Todd Davis, NBC Sports, Washington. Dave, you guys put Doolittle on the injured list retroactive to August 11th. Uh, it's August 22nd. So where is he at? Yeah, he's um, uh, he's gonna he threw another 14 pitches. Uh, he felt better, so we're gonna um. He's going to throw to hitters here, uh, I think, tomorrow. And then we'll, we'll go from there. We'll see where he's at. But he's feeling better. We want to make sure that, you know, he's good to go. Um, but he's, he's doing fine.